Almost two years after his demise, the stories about the late Scorn founder continue to attract space in sermons of the TB Joshua faithful. According to Prophet Joshua Ginla, the decision of the prophets and the disciples of the late TB Joshua to leave the widow, Mrs. Evelyn Joshua, to run the church alone shows they were fair weather friends who were there for a season. He said, It was shocking that just after the passing of the founder of the Skoan, the prophets established their own churches with branches. There are people who said they love my friend, Prophet T.B. Joshua, before he died. And after he died, we saw the true color of their heart. If you really love your father, you will not leave your father's wife and leave the church and start ministry. Everywhere, how can in one year, every one of you have churches, have branches, have calling, have thing. I stand to be corrected. He described the prophets and disciples as fake because they were supposed to stand with a helpless widow in that time of need. I am amazed. So all of you have vision to become founder and you are under a man. Just one prayer, you left the wife. No matter how difficult the problem is, you will stay because you are not there for his wife. You are there for the man. You can't tell me you love senior prophet T.B. Joshua and after his death, you have disconnected. You are fake. Hear me. That is why I'm not moved by praise singers. That is why you will know people that love you. You think people love you? All these friends jumping around you. When something happened to you, they will chase your wife. Stories emerged that Mrs. Evelyn Joshua sent away the prophets and disciples following allegations of theft. Notable amongst them were prophets Racine, Chris, Yinka, Anne, and Angela. These prophets who were with the late prophet T.B. Joshua have since moved on and started their own ministries to, as they put it, continue the legacy of the founder. Prophets Racine and Chris have their online ministries based in the UK, whilst prophetesses Anne and Yinka have their online ministries in Nigeria. To them, it was time to move on following the direction of the Holy Spirit.